What a morning. Bad morning for me, actually. Huge mistake. Oh my gosh, just when you think you've got over one hurdle. Metal detecting. And we've spotted a metal detector. So just, we're in a very sorry state, basically. Not for everyone. It's absolutely disgusting. So it's not my confidence a little bit, to be honest. I can't be 100%, but I'm pretty sure that I gave myself. Good morning. What a morning. Bad morning for me, actually. Not too bad. Just a little bit bad. Crashed you know the, the car twice. I haven't crashed it. I haven't crashed it. Uh, you broke the mirror. Broke my mirror. Do you know what? I've been driving the little car all week and got used to that. And obviously the steering wheel is on the opposite side and it's smaller. And the rule is that you try and get over to the lines in the middle of the road. and yeah cracked it jumped back in this car for the first time today and i literally just got around the corner from our house and a big like truck pickup um passed us and it bashed my mirror in that right? didn't break it that didn't break it i was like oh big pickup and then i got round another corner literally two seconds later and smash another pickup has knocked the mirror and cause the, the mirror must have already been a little bit loose it's just shattered my mirror so obviously it's my fault I'm, um, it's messed my brain up driving two cars we've been on two different sides obviously so I've just been so like nervous the whole way here driving which I've not felt that for ages I've been so used to this car like I've never had a bump in this car completely got used to it and now it's like bringing all the feelings back of when we first moved over here because I really did find it nerve-wracking didn't I Seth? I used to dr drive and scream can you remember when we first moved over here and I just used to be like ah kids there it is look look at that what a mess dearie me so it's not my confidence a little bit to be honest i mean the trucks were fine it, they probably didn't even feel it they just kept driving um but yeah my mirror is smashed to pieces so yeah it has knocked me a little bit i'm like oh god do i need to stick to one car now am i not allowed to switch and choose <laughs> oh my gosh just when you think you've got over one hurdle like that was my biggest anxiety when we first moved here like I was even considering having um, driving lessons again just to get myself used to it that's how scared and nervous I was when I first moved here and now I feel absolutely fine especially in this car until today <laughs> so we're gonna go and grab a coffee because I've been dashing this morning I don't have my coffee to go so I'm gonna go and get a Starbucks coconut cappuccino and we're going to get some steps in this morning we've just dropped Nance off at dancing so far it is 20 to 10 and I've done 1606 steps this morning I want to really knock that up by the time we get back to the car are you with me Seth yeah I've got my joggers on today nice and comfy sweater pair of trainers and I'm ready to pound the pavement so uh, should we go and have a little gander in can this morning good lad always does me parking for me don't you yeah it's okay. fun it's fun yeah, it's a gadget that. and I get to touch it nah. <laughs> thank you <laughs> got me cappuccino laid a cocoa it, most of the time I actually eat the wrapper I think now. you've had the wrapper before haven't you yeah a bunch of times Whoa, it's not going to run away from you, you know. Slow down. <laughs> That's normal eating. You're a gulper like your dad. We have just come to Cam Beach Front for a good walk. Metal detecting. And we've spotted a metal detector right there. Yeah. Look how fast he's going though. Yeah. How can he go that fast? Probably just because he's got a very professional one that costs a lot more than just a thousand quid. Which you is think fine. he's got a professional one? Yeah. I mean, that, oh, 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 has he got something? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh. No. Oh. He does stop, but then he don't find it. Wow, that is fast. 
Does that inspire you? Does it make you want to get out with yours a bit more? Yeah. Or does it make you think, oh, bugger it, we've yet, got no. the professionals here. of my topiaries. All the topiaries practically that I had in pots. So my two little lollipop ones that I had upstairs um, outside the door and my one that I got for our anniversary last year. And I think on a previous vlog I showed you my triple ball one getting planted because that almost died in the front porch because there's no sun there. And also I had a four ball topiary from the upstairs balcony as well, which same thing happened. <laughs> they just were in a very sorry state basically. Listen, I've got no previous gardening experience. So this is all a journey for me. It's all learning. Anyway, what I've done, planted them all in the ground now, fed them, gave them loads of water, fertilized them and we're just praying, that's what we're doing. But the first one that I noticed that was dying that I planted with you on the other vlog, uh, that one is amazing now, it's all coming back, it's flourishing guys, so um, look at this. So this is my little, I'm gonna call this my topiary rose bed. Obviously we've got a gap there that I need to fill, so I'm thinking about getting some more roses, although this is growing rapidly like i was supposed to plant the biggest stuff at the back and the smallest stuff at the front this is going to need a lot of cutting back um but it's getting its little buds on there now lovely so yeah this is one of my lollipop ones that has gone in here's my poorly anniversary one which these top ones need to recover it's obviously still alive these are doing well at the bottom um so yeah that's going to take a long time there's me other little lollipop one here is the one that we put in icu that was practically dead and look how well it's done amazing it loves it there in that spot and then this one this is the biggest worry um but I was watching some vids and stuff and it can take a very long time for them to come back once they've got to this stage. I know it's not dead because I've done the test on the, on the branches and they don't snap. And when you're scraping with your fingernail, they have got green underneath. We've got some green leaves still on this one. A few on that one and a few on that one. So yeah, it's going to be a long time before this one comes back. But you live and learn. That is true, you live and learn. Something else I've got to tell you as well that I've lived and learned on recently. <laughs> oh, these two are doing really good. This has got loads of new um, growth on it lately. These are my pots, obviously, from my um, lollipops over there. What do you think, sugar? I think grass needs cutting, do you? Hey? Yeah, lots of daisies on this grass. Oh, and I forgot to show you my rose. My climbing rose has uh, got a rose. <laughs> ah, have you got your broccoli? Hey, 
You like your broccoli, don't you? Yeah, she's just got all the toys back because we had to take them off her when she had the uh, phantom pregnancy. She thought there was babies, didn't she? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Nice, productive start to the day today. Being in the gym, it was actually a really good gym session. You know, like sometimes when you go in there and you're clock watching and you can't wait to get out. Well, this wasn't one of those. Like, I really enjoyed it. It seemed to go really quick. Um, I seemed to do a little bit more than I usually would. Ah, but I am out of breath when I've just come up the stairs. Anyway, freshened up, actually made an effort and done my hair today. You don't see it done as often anymore in the vlogs because, uh, as a lot of you know, I'm on this healthy hair journey and I try and avoid the heat through the week and just style it a little bit less than I um, used to. But I've styled it this morning. I'm starting to finally notice a difference, I think. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, it just feels healthier, stronger, shinier. Um, I mean, it's definitely grown. The roots right down here now. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I think before, obviously, it had just a lot of bleach build up, which it still has down at the bottom. It was very dry, very coarse. The only downside I would say is it doesn't hold a curl as well as it used to. Um, like I used to get a good three days out of my curls when I'd done it, whereas I don't quite get that now. But I think it was only holding the curl, obviously, because it was so dry and coarse. And the shampoo and conditioner that I am using at the moment, I really rate. It's not the one that I have shown you recently in a recent vlog, the Drunk Elephant stuff. It's not that, because I've not actually got onto that range yet. Um, I just bought that to put in the cupboard because I was sold on the day. But I am using, I'll show you, bear with. Who's to say it is this? Who really knows? I mean, it could be that I'm, you know, coming up to four five months of not putting colour on my hair, I don't know, but I have been doing a lot as well. And you know when you just get a feeling, like I've got a feeling that this is actually good. My scalp has never been in as good a condition as it is at the moment. Like I used to suffer with my scalp a lot. Um, I used to have to buy the La Roche Pose scalp shampoo every now and again just to treat it because it used to get in quite a bad state like dry itchy flaky like i haven't got any of that now it's completely clear um so i believe this is the abc range and i've just got a good feeling it just feels lovely when i've washed it what can i say and the reviews as well when i've been reading the reviews it seems that a lot of people agree so this is the shampoo which i used first obviously I'll link all these down below in case anybody's also on a hair journey or just fancies trying it. Um, so I do the shampoo and then I do the conditioner. It's the acid bonding concentrate range. Um, and then on towel dried hair, I go in with this number three treatment. Just need a good, a decent pea size amount. And just spread that and then before styling I'll use this which is also by Red Ken it's the 25 benefits spray it's good for all sorts multi benefit treatment there's loads on there obviously heat protection conditions nourishes improves manageability helps even out porous hair reduces dryness detangles yes that's what I use before I blow dry or um, tongue and then obviously I bought the Bumble and Bumble UV protection spray which I do use if I'm going out in the sun and then guys just showing you my current routine as it stands at the moment um, I bought the living proof dry shampoo which I use when it's getting close to needing washing also as well at the start of my hair journey I said that I was going to minimise my washing and try and reduce it to once a week. That stopped because after doing a bit of research, it's actually good for you to keep your scalp 
healthy and clean rather than letting it get a build up there. I don't think there's any proof behind washing your hair less that it helps it more. So I started just going back to my normal wash routine uh, as and when it needed it. So I'm probably washing it maybe twice a week. So yeah, if it's getting close to wash day, I use that, which is actually a very good dry shampoo. It's better than the usual, what's it called? It begins with a B. It's better than that one anyway. So I'll link those down below. Just thought I would give you a little update because I've not really spoke much about this hair journey that I've been on. Colour wise, oh, it's tough. Do you know what? I do plan on going somewhere with the colour in the future, but the plan is to just get through the summer first and see what that does to it. And um, I'll probably think about colour towards the end of the year when it's, when it's been a year. It'll be a year in December. So yeah, we'll decide that then. So now what I'm gonna do is make some lunch because it is 25 past one and I am, Hungry. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, I am taking the hair gummies, vitamins. I didn't read it properly and I was taking one for quite a while. Then I realised that it should be taking two a day, so I then upped it to two a day. But at the moment, I have stopped all my supplements this week. I'll give you an update on that in a moment. Definitely need a food shop, but I've got a piece of salmon. What date is it? What date is it? That actually needs eating. It goes out of date tomorrow. We've got some asparagus. Oops, not that piece. So a piece of salmon. Probably half this asparagus. Some eggs. That's a good lunch. That'll keep me going until tonight because I've actually got a busy night tonight. It's Friday, which means long dancing in can um, and Ryan's not joining me tonight because he's busy with work so I'll also need to make the kids some tea to take with me because as soon as I pick them up from school they ask for the tea now they're like mum what have you brought me today and they're like we're in the back of the car so I'll probably just take them some tuna sweet corn pasta mayo so yeah it's a long one a long one tonight it's an absolutely glorious day to day which always makes everything better doesn't it like i've done two loads of washing today as well which i need to peg out it's good you know that organized feeling all last week's preparations to actually get in an organized state worked because this first week has definitely gone to plan it's definitely gone to plan i think i've even managed to get two vlogs a week out now for two weeks if you're watching this on a wednesday it's working So I cook with butter a lot because the French butter is just amazing. Imagine low pack but 10 times better, it's just good. And it's pure, it's proper butter, you know, so it's like, I don't know, I think it's good fast. Not for everyone, but I do love crispy salmon skin.
fresh sprouting on this poly tree today which is very good just down here at the bottom there is like some new little sprouts which is a good sign and a couple on the second bowl too obviously I think the top balls are gonna take the longest to recover but that's a good sign you'll have to excuse my battered pink slippers as well if you notice them in the vlogs they are my old pair of slippers which I just can't part with I actually got some brand new um, cream Uggs for Mother's Day Ryan the kids got me them and they're gorgeous but the cream so I can't wear them in the garden and these pink pair they've been fab they've got hard soles and I just can't part with them I like wearing them in the garden and just pottering about in them they're absolutely disgusting who else has got Ugg slippers that they just live in? They are fab. They literally last forever. Anyway, I was going to update you on the vitamins sitch, the supplement sitch, because I made a little bit of a blunder, actually. So, what happened was I have been taking vitamin D supplement for quite a while because um, in previous years, I go in phases in different times of the month where I'll just feel really low energy and tired and a little bit dizzy and stuff like that which led me to go to the doctors and get my bloods done so I did that before back in the UK um, thinking that I had uh, anemia because I was showing all the signs for anemia but I actually didn't all the bloods came back fine but the ones that came back not so good was I was extremely low in vitamin D so I went on a vitamin D supplement, this was years ago, and I've always tried to include a vitamin D supplement within my daily vitamins. Then the same thing happened again when I moved here. The first year of moving here, I was getting all the dizzy spells and things again. So I thought, oh, I've not actually had my bloods taken for quite a while, and I wanted to just check my vitamin dosage and things like that. So I booked an appointment here, went to the doctors, had all the bloods checked again and again the same thing happened and my vitamin D was showing extremely low again so at that point we upped my vitamin D capsule and I went on quite a high one I probably shouldn't have stayed on that in my daily dosage but I forgot and I did the beginning of the year I started taking um, what was it last year I went on these skin vitamins anyway didn't realize that they also had vitamin D in them and then recently I have gone on the hair gummies as well which have also got vitamin D and then when we actually examined my multivitamin my everyday multivitamin has also got vitamin D in it and obviously this is the Riviera the sunshine is a lot higher so I'm getting a lot of natural vitamin D as well so anyway I had had a bad back for quite some months, it was waking me up in the night um, and it was just persistent, it wouldn't go away and it was literally under my rib cage in my back so like I got to the point where I was this close on um, going to a chiropractor and things like that because it just wasn't going away Rai was giving me massages every day, I was doing stretches from my back in the gym it was just really getting me down and affecting my sleep and this one night I woke up and it was just on one side of my back at first and this one night I woke up and it was identical spot but on the other side and it just got me thinking because I assumed that I had pulled a muscle under there with the compost bin but then when it started on the other side I thought that can't be what's happened so then my brain starts going I starts googling and I came across don't confuse kidney pain with backache so I think, I can't be 100%, but I'm pretty sure that I gave myself some vitamin D toxicity, um, which was making my kidneys ache. So I freaked out, I panicked a lot, because you take these vitamins and stuff to try and be healthy and then things can just go so wrong and you can end up doing more damage than... So um, I stopped my entire supplements I stopped at the beginning of the week I've been drinking lots of lemon water to try and flush things out and do you know what already I feel better and looking back as well I was pumped with water I had so much water retention which I didn't realize until looking back 
um, which I feel like is going now and I just feel so much better and back to my usual self and my backache has stopped in the day I do still get a little bit of it on a night time but I do think I have got a back problem as well um, but yeah things have massively improved so going forward what I'm going to do is have another week off the vitamins and just keep drinking lots of lemon water then I'm going to slowly start introducing um, a couple of them just my multivitamin probably my hair gummies then I'm going to go and get my bloods done again because I think it's time anyway because I haven't been for like over a year so I'm just going to go get them checked and yeah I just thought I would uh, update you on that one because I made a real blunder when we actually topped up how much vitamin D I was consuming it was uh, way over the dosage that I should have been taking so huge mistake so if you're on over the counter vitamins just check them check your pills because we do all this to try and be healthy when in actual fact we could be doing more damage and I know a lot of people don't even agree with taking supplements they, sh they think that you should get it all just from your diet and there's a lot of controversy around it but um, yeah that's me update guys messed up quite a few times in this vlog actually messed up with the car messed up with my plants and I messed up with my vitamins so I think the vlog title should just be one big mess up <laughs> so I'm sorry if this vlog hasn't been very uplifting or inspiring but sometimes it's nice to just share a bit of real life you know um so yeah anyway I think that's it for today guys I'm gonna go and get the kids tea sorted out and start getting the bags and everything ready for this evening they've actually both been on a school trip today so they're gonna be exhausted when I pick them up and starving and then to top it off Nancy's got dancing so it's gonna be a fun night but um, thanks for catching up as always and I will see you on